Hello viewer, welcome to your favorite cooking show. This is Fast Foods Fast. The cooking show where you get to learn about all the fast foods that God gave us and how fast you could fix them in your own kitchen. I will be your host, Lois Otiende, and this is my co-host. Tabitha Uchiang, I just love this show. And we have an awesome guest who will be with us during this season. Awesome indeed, I'm Melanie Osuri. And in this season, we are handling sticky issues in being a vegan. Is it possible to be vegan and be healthy? Can you get all the nutrients that you need? Specifically today we are handling probiotics. Yes, you got me right. <laughs> How is it possible for you to get that? Can you enjoy your gut? Can you get probiotics yeah. being a vegan without yeah. dairy products? Yeah. That is what we are going to be looking at in this show. And we ask that you just stay tuned, enjoy, and learn all that you need to know. <laughs> Probiotics, mm -hmm. big term. Melanie, what is that? Pro, pro, pro. <laughs> pro essentially means for. Mm -hmm. So for life, biotics from biology, the study of life, the science of life. So probiotics is for life. So biotics is just life. So when we're talking about probiotics, we're just essentially talking about things that are it enable you to have more life that are good for you and bacteria is going to come into question today we're going to talk a lot about bacteria so we have um, good bacteria mm -hmm. and we have bad bacteria so this is just a battle of bacteria between the good and, and the, the bad, bad. Yeah. same thing as well. we have uh, the great controversy <laughs> i don't know how that got in there but yes there is a controversy in your gut mm -hmm. and also elsewhere where your body is in communication with the outside environment the good and the bad still in your body yes wow. so what we are looking at today essentially is uh why we need the good bacteria yeah basically probiotics is it something to do with normal uh, right. Flora. 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 Yes. Oh, yes. flora. <laughs> it sounds like flowers. Mm -hmm. but <laughs> yes, normal flora is mm. just the good bacteria. Uh, basically, we, we are considering along your um, intestine because we're talking about food. Yes. But you can have normal flora along your intestine all the way mm -hmm. from your mouth to the other Yes. opening yes mm -hmm. yes yeah um so today what you're going to be considering we have on set um a few of the examples of foods that can help to improve the good bacteria and good bacteria are essentially good for your immunity mm -hmm. and they're good for your skin mm -hmm. and they're good you know when we have antibiotics so antibiotics actually the opposite of probiotics yes antibiotics they are like antichrist this came up again. <laughs> it did. It did. I just, I'm liking this even more. Antichrist. And yeah. the great controversy. And great controversy. Yes. yes. So antibiotics, they kill bacteria. Yeah. And when we take antibiotics in medication, mm. they are not selective. They kill both the good, the and, good the and the bad. And the bad. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So in a world where we have a lot of medication, people are on medication a lot. Um, if you are on medication, then that means along your lining, your gut lining, there's mm. high probability that, that you've you killed. You have the good bacteria. Yeah, you've killed the good bacteria. Uh -huh. So there is a misbalance, so mm. to speak. Mm. When there is a misbalance, you find that there are people who, when they're on medication, then they find that they have diarrhea. Mm -hmm. because um, the good bacteria is killed. Yeah. So your body is, is this like loose stool, yeah? Mm -hmm. And not only that, you have bloating, your stomach is always bloated. Right. There are people who are always bloated, whatever mm. they do. Mm. Most likely there is a, a misbalance in your, in your good bacteria. So mm -hmm. today we're going to yeah. talk about how to correct that. Mm. And even, even eczema. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, actually, yeah. and and that is that is actually something that I really wanted to bring out. Yeah, uh, skin conditions mm -hmm. largely mm. the ones that are treated with steroid creams yes. can be corrected by the by use of use probiotics. Of very true. Very over, true. Over a period of about three to six months, right. consistent yeah. use. Mm -hmm. But now we we have to be careful because sometimes when you use the synthetic probiotics mm -hmm. for a long time mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. then now they begin to mess you up Very so true. we need to understand how do we get the natural the natural, natural and organic yes. probiotics Louis oh, talked about exactly. synthetic probiotics yes, yes, and you know mm -hmm. during the processing there's a high likelihood that the 
the good bacteria is killed. It's not mm -hmm. live bacteria. Mm -hmm. So there's some yogurt or other probiotic sources we get from the stores mm -hmm. and the live bacteria is already dead. Uh -huh. Yes. So that's why we always encourage as much as possible. Can you make them at home? Yes. Now that you're sure that it's live bacteria. Mm -hmm. Yes. Back to nature. Yeah. As yeah. close to nature as possible. And, and that's the message. Yeah. And, mm -hmm. and one thing that we, we also need to take home. Yes. Uh, a lot of lifestyle conditions uh -huh. can be uh, traced back to probiotic deficiencies. Very wow. true. So yes. many of us treat lifestyle diseases yes. and you will treat them for life. For you life. Remember, like you said, <laughs> Very pro true. life. Yes, pro yes. Life. Yeah. Mm. If you do not have probiotics, mm -hmm. you don't have life, mm -hmm. biotic yes. life, yes. Mm -hmm. and, and it so results you. into lifestyle diseases. diseases. You know, which you treat yes. for life. Which you'll end up treating for life <laughs> because yes. you actually don't have that life. Yes. So yes. when you have a healthy gut, yes. essentially, yes. Mm. when you have probiotics, mm -hmm. Uh, and you have enough of the good bacteria, mm -hmm. it, will, uh, it will just surmount a lot of the things that you mentioned, like Very the true. eczemas. Very I was true. reading an article where they were even saying that things like um, pancreatic functions. Oh, yes. yes. Uh, eczemas, skin, right. yes. allergies, yes. Yes. food allergies. allergies. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Mm. You can treat allergies with steroids for three, four years. Some like people would do. And yeah. you know, the, the thing is, um, you know, I was really itching. I was like, oh, Lois, Lois. Mm. When you talk about lifestyle diseases, things mm. like diabetes and mm. hypertension and right. arthritis, especially arthritis. Arthritis, yes. Um, there's something that there's a gram positive and gram negative bacteria. Basically, it's uh, the t there are two types of bacteria, mm. depending on what is lining the outer cell, mm -hmm. there is, um, let me, it's called a liposaccharide. So this liposaccharide, anywho, in a gram-negative bacteria, mm. sometimes if it's in a large amount, that, that is if you're on antibiotics, the gram-negative bacteria, the population increases in your gut. So this liposaccharide, it diffuses, or rather it uh, gets into your bloodstream, and it coats, starts coating yet again the blood vessel. Yes. So someone who's hypertensive, your hypertension gets worse and you can trace it to what you're eating, the type of bacteria in your gut. Exactly. And not only that, for young children, we'll find out later on, even their mental health is affected mm -hmm. by how mm -hmm. the, the type of bacteria in their gut. Mm -hmm. You find there are young children who are put on antibiotics at a very young age, killing all the good bacteria. Their immunity is low and even their mental function. We have, uh, there's the central nervous system, mm -hmm. but then we also have another nervous system mm. <laughs> along the gut which yes. makes much more impact to according to um affect our mental mental capacity mm -hmm. so for yeah. children especially it's important mm. to watch their food and to also put in pro pro life food mm. yes. into their diet yeah. you know so what i really like mm -hmm. about this mm -hmm. is the fact that yeah you're sounding really big yeah but if we can go down to nature mm. and eat food as god provided it right. we would never have these lifestyle diseases That's true. you know yeah. because god gave us everything yes. in the right proportions yes. to just you know, work it out. Yes. Even the bit of going out to make your own food in the yes, garden yes. helps with it some does. probiotics. It so does. that's the bit that really excites yeah. me. Yeah, actually, what what uh, <coughs> what studies have proven? Uh -huh. Like we, I think we mentioned this in a previous episode. Right. Um, there's this bacteria. I, I like it. It's called Mycobacterium vacae. Oh, <laughs> we like what? You big should thank me for yes. the big terms. Yeah, for At the least. big terms. What? So All that right. bacteria is yes. is very is very common in organic soil, mm -hmm. right? And mm -hmm. it is advised that uh, children have or even adults, mm. we need to interact with soil. With the yes. soil, yes. Let because it where do, mm. yeah, you'll notice even food allergies and lifestyle diseases mm -hmm. and all that. Mm -hmm. They are more common mm. in the in people in the cities. Yes, and yes. sterilized environments. Yes. Mm -hmm. Very true. They are mm -hmm. more common with people who are not in an organic soil environment. Uh -huh. right. So you will find that our grandmothers at home yes. grew up without these things, no. they don't but they were always touching the soil. Yes. Now, what is interesting with this bacteria that which is actually the natural yes. uh, good bacteria that right. God provided for soil. us in the soil yes. Yes. is it absorbs through the skin yes. mm -hmm. whenever you touch the soil. Right. When you when you get carrot out of the garden, mm. don't, don't clean it don't. too much. Just yeah. Yeah. soap and scrub <laughs> it. Yeah. yeah. So 
we, we need that bacteria. So if you cannot get yogurt, just mm -hmm. interact with your soil back at home. Mm -hmm. as, absorb as much of it from through your skin. Yeah, through mm -hmm. your skin. And don't over sterilize your vegetables and fruits whenever right. you harvest right. them. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. So we are making we have a fast to do something. food and yes. we need to make it very fast. Yes. Okay. But as we're doing that, uh, I would just like to also uh, encourage young parents, especially mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. those who are in the city setting. Mm -hmm. Right now, we have l many children who are suffering from food allergies. Mm -hmm. Allergies, that's right. And they right. are constantly on steroids. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, speaking from experience, uh, yeah. we can testify yeah. that God has given a solution right. Right. by introducing good bacteria right. in the life of your children, right. especially those below seven years of age, because yeah. most doctors will tell you mm. that allergies will either uh, subside by that mm -hmm. age mm. or they will or stay with them. Yeah, mm -hmm. for life now. No, you don't have to be on steroids. Yeah. Just try and introduce good bacteria in the life of your child right. or even in the life of that adult. Right. And then observe what happens in just about uh, eight to 12 weeks. Mm. You will notice that they will be able to tolerate more foods, mm. but foods that God made first. That's right. right. Okay. Because the other thing with steroids yeah. is, yes, you'll continue to use them. As long as you're on them, you tend to suppress yes. the problem. Yeah. You come out of them, the problem exactly. shoots again. So they yeah. don't really treat. Yes. But of course, they also have other side effects. Exactly. So we really do not want to continue right. along yeah. that And line. they're likely to make it worse. Mm -hmm. So what we are looking at today, and this is a very sensitive issue, and that's yeah. why I, 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 I was not that we really dive into making <laughs> things. <laughs> we needed our viewers to understand mm -hmm. that there are so many people who become vegan. Yes. Mm -hmm. But without probiotics, they're going to have problems. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it is one aspect of being a vegan that That's is not so properly key. addressed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we have our non-vegans who are always drinking their yogurts, so they're fine. Mm -hmm. And then we have our vegans who think they should not be drinking yogurt mm -hmm. <laughs> or they should not be having probiotics. Uh. Yeah, so ensure that you have probiotics in your diet, right. in your lifestyle right. as a vegan mm -hmm. if you do not want to have problems. Please. Good. So Thank you. Sauces. Yes. But then we need to do this. Yes. All so right. now well, <laughs> we need to do that. Now, we, we, what we have in, uh, in our first recipe, mm. we're going to put in just some yogurt. Okay. Okay. So you can make this yogurt. If you have organic vegan culture at home, then you can just culture some vegan milk. Okay. Mm -hmm. If you have mm -hmm. something interesting that I've also realized, there are people who've cultured milk with uh, whole pepper. So if Say you that do not increase have that volume, <laughs> increase that volume. If you do there. not have, because it's true. Because sometimes the cultures can, are sometimes can be expensive, expensive, so. yes. or simply not available. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so I saw some African lady do that, and it really shocked me. Uh, so uh, that so this is our non dairy. Uh, coconut milk based Yay. yogurt mm -hmm. and it's 100 percent made with vegan culture okay so you can enjoy your yogurt, <laughs> you can enjoy yogurt. but it, serve it a bit chilled okay we're in kisumu somebody is looking for this yogurt where do they get it from you can get it from any organic health store where vegans shop in this kisumu right Alternatively, as we have mentioned, you, if you can get the culture, but you have to get, because there are two types of culture. Mm -hmm. you, you can have the, the non-vegan based, mm -hmm. you can also have the vegan based. Mm -hmm. If you cannot get all that, just get whole pepper, put your vegan milk inside, mm -hmm. put inside an oven, mm -hmm. have the lights on overnight. The next morning, mm -hmm. when your milk is hot, mm -hmm. you've put that in. The next morning, it will have coagulated. Awesome. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Awesome. If you don't have an oven, there may be just a dark, warm place. But you have to put a torch. A torch. Yeah. It mm -hmm. needs light. It needs So you'll have to cover that with cling film. Okay. Yeah. All right. So we're ready to go. Today, we're not using the pills. You uh, are no, working uh, hard. We're not doing vitamin B12. <laughs> But when you need vitamin B12, yes, yes, yeah. I wanted to make that clear because, yes. yeah, make sure that you put it, <laughs> and of course, you need it every right. day. so often. But right. I'm noticing what you're doing. What we need vitamin B12, yes. and I'm noticing what you're doing. <laughs> so, we are using coconut milk, but if you'd like to use soy milk, 
you can soak your beans overnight when you soak the beans they will reduce the phytate content on the beans mm -hmm. um, so when the phytate content is reduced your body is able to absorb minerals along your gut easier um, so that's in case you you would rather use soy milk instead of instead of coconut milk mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah you That's can also right. use almond meal, mm -hmm. yeah, all the nut milk, meal, pistachio, you any, any that you can find. Can you yeah. use even groundnuts? Can you make milk out of it? Uh, milk is if you don't roast it. <laughs> oh yeah, if you yeah, don't yeah, roast it, roast when it's still it. fresh, it yes. actually has some milk. Mm. Oh, awesome! Mm, mm. Those are good alternatives. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then okay. basically, even the white beans, not just soya only. Mm -hmm. yeah. There are some white bean varieties especially in the western region of kenya mm -hmm. that can also make good milk good milk mm. yeah oh okay mm. you have bean milk yeah just white bean milk yeah. i've bean never milk, tried that nut though. milk seed milk yeah you Yay. know the variety is just interesting <laughs> yeah because you do so we have a bit of passion passion that we are going to put inside mm -hmm. of our probiotic boost mm -hmm. okay there's just something about passion it's Ooh, it vitamin is lovely. C, yeah. vitamin and finally, C. a bit a of this. Yeah. Hibiscus. Yep, Very hibiscus. Because like, the passion is there. Mm, yeah, that's enough. That is good enough. Okay. All right. And okay. then so we blend very fast. If you wish, you could also add in organic blackstrap molasses. Yeah. If you want to mm. do a probiotic and iron boost at the same time. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Nice. It's a bit heavy. Water? Mm. Mm. A little bit. Okay. Is that? Oopsie. Mm, that, that's that's enough. That's okay. That should be okay. Mm. Yeah. Release it. As All right. Yoga. So at this particular point, we'll just take a short break and we'll be right back after the break. The smile on my face as I watched her walk down the aisle. I knew this was the beginning of my happy ever after. We would play like little children who have endless energy. He made me laugh <laughs> every single day. Oh, what bliss. He suddenly had too many complaints. He just started doing everything wrong. I couldn't stand him. It was too much. When issues start trickling in your family, who do you turn to? What do you do? Watch this brand new season of Family Times. Join the different families on set as they share their experiences of how God has kept them together through it all. Every Sunday from 7 to 8 p.m. on Hope Channel Kenya. Right, welcome back. Now we have done our blending, we've finished with it. Mm -hmm. And we said you could add a little bit of organic blackstrap molasses. So if you do that, then you're going to have a completely nutritious meal. Mm -hmm. So basically, you have the banana peel there, that means you have a bit of vitamin B12. B12. Mm -hmm. And then you also have your probiotics in there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you you also have passion, which mm -hmm. is high in vitamin and C, and hibiscus, vitamin C, and hibiscus mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. So if you want to also boost your iron at the same time, then you would put some organic blackstrap molasses as well, or beetroot. Perfect. Yes. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And that means uh, you would actually give that to your toddlers who don't like eating, so <laughs> they would have something that is, is actually complete. Yeah. Complete. Yeah. Very and, nice. And nutritious. And very nutritious. And tasty. Yes. So you don't always have to give them greens and what if they don't want. Just mm. give them something that they would enjoy. Yeah. But mm -hmm. something that is also uh, complete. 
Yeah. Beautiful. Now, for this particular recipe, the one that is coming after what we have just presented that looks actually very nice, mm -hmm. as you could see that, we are going to do some baby mash, and this would be good for children that have already been weaned. Okay. 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 So when you're weaning your child, uh, mm. once you've weaned your child and uh, they're already stable enough mm -hmm. to start eating food, mm -hmm. then you would want to give them something like this. Mm -hmm. So we're making some baby mash. Okay. And we have potatoes. Yay, yes. I love potatoes. Yeah. Irish. <laughs> I love Irish potatoes. Potatoes. <laughs> I <laughs> can. Still done though. <laughs> Who doesn't? So in our baby mash, the first thing that we're going to do, uh, you could assist us with a spoon. With, uh, uh, this sorry, one? no, I could use, I could just use okay. this. Yeah. Here. That's still awful. So, uh -huh. yeah, so this would just do. You could just turn that on. Okay. Thank you. Melanie, yes. you look idle. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You get some cold water okay. inside. Uh, why don't we use that instead? The warm one? Yep. It will be faster. Why, why are you giving uh, an counter anti instructions? I know. Because you just forgot about that. Yeah. She is <laughs> anti anti She's not pro. This water. She's, She's not, not pro. pro <laughs> yeah. No, she just may have forgotten. That's enough, Melanie, that, Yeah, not. that's good. Mm. That we had hot water. That will ah. save our time. Remember, it's fast food. You, uh, you always have first. a counter. Yeah. <laughs> No, but isn't that true? It's true. Okay. Mom, Good. it's very it's true. It's very true. Very true. That's what I was very saying. Very true. Mm. Now, okay, with so. baby mash, you really wouldn't want to use salt as much. Okay. <laughs> because of uh, the, the babies, eh? it's uh, not so advisable. So we'd probably just want to make it for them like that. Uh -huh. And you were talking about after weaning the babies, and I thought that's something very important. Yeah. You know, we tend my to mind. make a mistake. Like she was totally ready my yes, mind. yes, we mm. usually make a mistake. Kids are still very young, and we've mm -hmm. started them off with food, and especially starch and all that, yeah. when they are not ready. So yeah. many times we actually hinder their growth and yes. development. Yes. So, what ages? At what age are we really now able to wean the babies carefully? Yeah. As in introduce this kind of food. I, I found this very interesting. I am not a pediatrician. Yeah. I am not a child scientist, <laughs> nutrition <laughs> something. <laughs> but I once had uh, this uh, uh, doctor teaching something that I thought was very interesting. Okay. And they were just giving instructions mm -hmm. that starch should be introduced to children who already have teeth. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Because uh -huh. you see, That's right. uh, yeah, the digestion of starch begins in the, in mouth. the mouth. In the mouth. And the enzyme that is used to digest it is called tylin. Salivary it's amylase. called amylase. Yes, or yes. tylin. Or tylin. Mm -hmm. the yes. other name. Yeah. Mm. So the production of that enzyme, usually, he or she claimed, sorry, mm. that you wouldn't have that enzyme mm. in someone who has no has developed no teeth. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so That's right. Oh, yes. yes. You know, it's the chewing of the food mm. that, that actually stimulates, stimulates the yes. production. Yes. Mm. So if you do That's not right. have teeth, mm. uh, you're, you're just going to be having that heaped up in your system. In your ah. system. But you're not going to be digesting it. Mm -hmm. So basically, mm -hmm. a child who is able to sit, a child who is able to, to who has some teeth out, yes. Yes. that they're able to bite onto things, mm -hmm. would be able to produce enough mm. salivary amylase just or tylin to, yes. to digest starch. Uh, so good starch. one. Yes, yes. Good one. that's important yeah. because we think, oh, mama is not going to be away, yeah. so therefore give some porridge. But yes. that's a lot of carbohydrates. Yeah. This child will not be benefiting oh, from my this. Goodness. Yeah. Oh, I'm learning yeah. so yeah. much. I don't have a child yet, but hey, <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> no, that, that's good for you yeah. because you you've not made not the mistake yet. make <laughs> mistakes that <laughs> we did. <laughs> <laughs> Very true. Yeah. Very yeah. true. So, mm -hmm. as this goes on, mm -hmm. we you have feel something like we else? are idle. Not <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that what needs to be done so must I'll, be I'll done. Because babies are involved. Yes. I, I would want us to also do the carrots. Yes. Oh, what about the carrots? It needs to cook. Oh, okay. For it to be soft. Okay. Mm. okay. Mm. Because mm. we're going to mash it. You know, we're not blending here. Ah. Mm. Yeah. So if it for adults, we would have just exactly used to. If you could, if you could actually blend it, uh, it's also okay. Uh -huh. So probably let's just open it. We start. We can. Okay. 
That's fine. So they'll cook together until it's very soft. Very soft. Yeah, very soft. We want it right. soft. Soft enough to mash, of yeah, course. Yeah, it's okay to put more because carrots have a sweet taste. A sweet taste. And what else do they give us? Why not? <laughs> Yes, bitter the bitter carotene, yeah. you need that as much as possible. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Something okay. is burning. What Ooh. is? Oh, yeah. <laughs> sorry. Our knife You've was leaving us. Sorry. Our knife cooking. <laughs> <Yeah>. Wow. <laughs> the smell. <laughs> mm. Okay. Yeah, so I think with that. We'll let it. Yeah. Sorry. So we'll have that. Okay. Mm, talking about babies, we have had um, young young mothers, especially first-time mothers, they complain about constipation for the, in the baby. Mm. Mm -hmm. And um, constipation generally, of course we know what constipation, just bl blockage. There's too mm. much in the system for the baby. Mm. It's not being digested. Maybe they started them too early with the starches. Mm. Um, so it is not moving as it should. Um, so... If you, if you have such a problem with your baby, then you should also check the diet. Uh, if you're still breastfeeding, you should check your diet. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Because if right. your baby is having problem with bloating or constipation or whatever mm -hmm. digestive problem, then you as a mother are to blame because they are getting the milk from you. Yeah, exactly. So your, your, your diet really is important. But if you've started already, you've re-weaned them out after they have their teeth, <laughs> and then you need to check what kind of foods that you give them. Mm. Probiotics, probi probiotics, mm -hmm. you have to include them in their diet. Mm. Yeah. Very important. Mm. And as you're talking about that, I just remembered that even your emotional well-being yeah. affects the baby that yeah. you're breastfeeding. Yeah. So, you know, mothers have such an important role in life. Oh you're goodness. bringing up life and your life impacts so heavily on this life that you're bringing up yes. that even your mental status really needs to be good at uh -huh, that time uh -huh. when you're breastfeeding. Very yeah. true. Off the cuff, but I thought very important. Yeah, oh, yes. I thought, mm. let me just check up on this. We might need to add just a, a bit little bit water. Yeah. more water. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because it needs to be soft. Because it needs to be very soft. Mm. No, not everyone has a is that okay? A baby bullet or what? What are those <laughs> things they call them? <laughs> Nutri bullet. Yeah, there's, yeah but they, there's also one I saw. For yeah. the babies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, so right yeah. now there is technology to make everything easy, but mm. sometimes they also make life impossible. I know. Cook, cook. For those who imagine that life cannot go on without them. Yeah. So we need to just steam this. But actually, instead of making this dirty, mm -hmm. I think we could just put it. Mm. So we just, once it's, because this is just about done. Yep. Okay. So we will just put it on. And that will not take too long. We don't need no it. No spinach. Cooking for too long. Spinach cooks in a short, short time. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Very Oops. short. Uh, we forgot to remove this. <laughs> you know, we were talking about pregnant <laughs> women Chocolate and weaning. Mm -hmm. And something just came to my mind how many times we've heard of cravings, you know, when a woman is pregnant yeah. and they're just always craving, always craving. There are this type of bacteria in the gut which actually direct how you have emotion, you attach emotions to food. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So for a woman who is always craving for things when they're pregnant, mm -hmm. they need to now start checking on their diet and including mm -hmm. probiotics, probiotics yeah. to improve that food balance. Cravings, yeah. Food cravings. And not only <coughs> pregnant so women, I mean, we have people craving okay, for things something just so that's uh, just another indication that uh -oh. you need to include probiotics into your diet hmm. um and still on women who are pregnant mm -hmm. um this is your day <laughs> so uh, you find that when they're pregnant sometimes they get inflammation they have pain joints uh joint pains mm -hmm. and and even um general body aches yeah. um that is essentially the gram negative bacteria that we talked about earlier so if there's a too much of the proportion in your gut, they're the ones who trigger inflammation in your system. Oh. So whenever you're feeling always tired and achy, um, there might be other things to it, but probably uh, one more thing to check into is your pro probiotics in your diet. For pregnant women or for any, generally, inflammation mm. in your body, arthritic people, uh, it might just be a misbalance in your gut. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. So, like we said at the beginning of the, of the show, mm -hmm. a lot of 
uh, lifestyle issues right. who could actually be traced down mm. to probiotic deficiency. Right. So because you do not have enough probiotics and mm -hmm. you, you don't have good bacteria, uh -huh. you will probably be put on medication for the rest of your life. Yeah. While you can treat it with just good bacteria. Yeah. Mm. yeah. And then it's so interesting that mm. virtually every part of our body uh -huh. is affected or impacted yeah. by probiotics. It you is know the amazing. fact that it's pro-life. Yes. Yeah. You You'd talked find about it in the, the lungs, yeah. in the mouth, yes. everywhere. In the vagina, even in canal. the urinary tract. Mm -hmm. There, the there are women who are always complaining about itching around their vaginal areas, um, either itching or just um, general discomfort. Mm. The pH balance is mainly, it's, a, it's always a battle between it's the good and bad bacteria. And bad bacteria. Yeah. So there's this, this um, idea of, they call it douching. Yeah. Yes. There are these elements, yes. there's yes. uh, material, not material, yeah. what, there's this um, harsh, uh, harsh, yeah. harsh chemicals that mm. they used to wash. Mm. So whenever you're washing your body, check over your soaps. Mm. And, important. Uh, important. Yes. Use as natural as you can. Mm. Um, there are people who actually advocate against using soaps when you're wa uh, washing uh, around your vaginal area. Mm. I think they are closer to the truth, but as, as natural as you can, natural soaps, nothing harsh, because yeah. they affect the, the good bacteria. Exactly. And in that case, also check even in your, um, this is stretching it, but even in your underwear, um, make sure it's good absorbing material. We have mm. young women women nowadays using very synthetic material as their <laughs> undergarment, it yeah. affects the which kind of bacteria grows. Mm. So there's so much that we do that affects bacteria so in our bodies, uh, we don't in, know and about. And in that case, you'd need to mention probably organic cotton. Organic. Cotton. Oh Lord. So yes. yes, we are still going back to nature, <laughs> as close to nature as, as possible. possible. Yes. yes. I love Lois. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Organic cotton. I, I mean, I, I, <laughs> wow. Okay. Yeah. yeah. It's ready that's, now. Yeah, that's the spinach. It will be been. done in just a bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then make sure when you're doing it, you chop it really, really small. Okay. Mm. Yeah. And they didn't add salt. Yeah. Uh, whenever Baby. we add this stuff for yeah. babies, it's, yeah. it's not advisable. You know, we okay. feel for them. That's what we do with our children. Yeah. We start introducing them to food and mm -hmm. we feel like they taste like we do. Yes. So even sugar mm -hmm. in, their, in their food is yes. not important. Okay. These little no. ones are able to... I would, I would want to just cut you short. Okay. So that like you has. do always. She yeah. has. So that we mash this <laughs> because we were making a fast food. Yeah? Yep, that's true. And it's for our babies. Mm. So we're just mashing. We have this masher here. Yep. And if you don't have the masher, you can use a spoon mm. or a spoon, whatever. A fork. A fork works Anything. very well. Mm. Anything and, that can and mash. And what we need to take note of is, uh, <laughs> you know, potatoes, once you boil them, mash yeah. them as fast as possible. Oh. Mm. 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 Yeah. Mm. Otherwise, oh. uh, they will not mash really well. Okay. Uh, okay. You don't but as you, mash, do you? as you mash, um, I just wanted to say that we, we tend to sympathize with our babies yeah. and then we end up messing them up. Because mm -hmm. yeah. things like salt, they ha you know, food has the natural, natural taste, salt, which natural the babies sugar. are really able to get. Mm -hmm. Sugar, they mm -hmm. have you know, mm -hmm. the real taste for mm -hmm. it. But we want to start adding sugar. Right. And sugar being as addictive it as it is, is addictive. then, you know, our kids yeah. really get hooked. Mm. So the good thing, that what we are doing mm. is, uh, uh, what were we doing? We are mashing. <laughs> we are mashing. <laughs> we want, you wanted to say get something. Get it out of my brain. Get it out of my brain. Sugar, sugar oh, being addictive. Actually, yeah. from the sugar being addictive, yes. you predispose your child to diabetes later on in their lives. Uh -huh. yeah. Because mm -hmm. they've been used to sugar since they were young. Sugar, it's yeah. hard to, it's like hard to get mm -hmm. off the addiction. So please yeah, watch, watching this? So watch your baby food. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so at this point, we'll allow this to cool. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just sorry. You must, Mia. It's much. So we allow it to cool just yeah. a bit. Yes. And then Before. once it's cool, you can add your plain plain yogurt. yogurt. Uh -huh. Homemade if possible. Yes. Mm. Just to give it that uh, that flavor mm -hmm. and uh, just a, a little bit of probiotic for your children. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that is what we had for you today. Um, 
probiotic boost, ensure that you have probiotics in your diet, yeah. both for yourself and for your children. Mm. You will not regret it. It will save you from lots of diseases mm. and lots of discomforts yes. from unnecessary medication. So with that, we would like to thank you for being with us throughout the show. I was your host, Lois Otinde, and my co-host, Tabitha Ochin, together with our awesome guest, Melanie, from us, it is a... <laughs>